Welcome to the University Archives online historical tour of the Oval. Our first stop is University Hall, the first building on the campus of what was then a grand experiment, a land-grant university. In the late 1850s, Vermont Senator Justin Morrill came up with the idea of the land-grant university system as a way to make higher education more affordable. The Morrill Act, which originally was introduced in 1859, was signed into law in 1862 by President Abraham Lincoln. This is why the tall dormitories that sit south of the stadium are called Lincoln and Morrill Towers. Under the law, each land-grant university was required to teach agriculture, mechanical arts, what we now call engineering, and military science. In 1870, the Ohio legislature passed the Cannon Act and created a, grand, a new land-grant college for the state called the Ohio Agricultural and Mechanical College. The new college opened three years later, on September 17, 1873, on what had been Neal Farm. This drawing depicts the original University Hall, then called the Classroom Building. 24 students enrolled in the college that first day, and this included two women, Harriet and Alice Townsend. Their father, Norton Townsend, was professor of agriculture and strongly believed in equal education for women. Besides the original University Hall, there were no other academic buildings on campus, just the old Neal Farmhouse, which became the President's House, and a few barns. The first day, even University Hall was not finished. Some floors needed to be installed, and many doors weren't hung. Thomas Mendenhall, the physics professor, had to use his lunch pail to demonstrate a particular concept during class. University Hall not only held classes, but also the president's office and campus library, which started in a room the size of a big closet. It was open once a week for several hours. The library then moved to a larger room, although students soon complained there was not enough room for studying. Some students even lived their first year on campus in University Hall with a few faculty members as chaperones because the campus dorm wasn't finished. When the college first opened, daily chapel was mandatory. Over the years, though, the student body outgrew the space, and there were also complaints about a chapel requirement at a state-sponsored institution. In 1900, the university rescinded the daily chapel requirement. By the early 1900s, University Hall was no longer the sole academic building. Orton and Hayes Halls opened in 1893, and Townsend Hall opened in 1898. A standalone library opened in 1913, and these were just a few of the growing number of university buildings on campus. By the mid-1960s, the original University Hall had fallen into such disrepair that the fourth floor was condemned. The building closed in 1971 and was torn down. Then, individual building features, like bricks and sections of the main staircase, were sold as a fundraiser for the Alumni Association. Though the original building had been torn down in 1971, the new University Hall did not open until 1976 because of financial difficulties faced by its general contractor. The second University Hall is one floor shorter and has none of the flourishes of the original building. However, it does retain some of the original building's elements, such as the clock in the tower, which was carefully removed for storage just before the 1971 demolition. The building's oval entrance is also from the original building, which is why there are smoke stains on the stone just above the door. These were made by kerosene lamps that were once mounted there.